Hi guys, and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve, and today we're going to be reviewing the 2023 San Martin SN0107. So I received this watch for free from the San Martin official store on AliExpress. I don't have to send the watch back, but you guys know the deal by now. That's not going to sway my review one way or the other. And if by the end of this review you find yourself wanting to pick one of these up, and I think you might, uh, please use the affiliate link down below in the video description. That'll take you right to the official store on AliExpress. I get a little bit of commission. You guys aren't paying any extra, and it really helps the channel along. So I appreciate it, guys. I'm going to keep on doing this. I have no plans on slowing down. The current retail price for this watch is $264, US dollars, and that's before any tax, sales, or coupons. Uh, keep in mind the 2022 versions are about $10 cheaper because they have a printed dial and no applied uh, logos, no applied indices or anything like that. Um, I'm also seeing a $20 off coupon right now on the page. So um, yeah, I know every once in a while they sprinkle in these little discounts. So that's nice of them as well. And we all know that San Martin gives pretty good deals during the sales. So also keep that in mind. This watch is currently available in three different configurations. So the 2022 versions, like I mentioned, they just have a printed dial in either the Fotina or the BGW9. And then the 2023 version is now coming in with applied indices. So that's the main big difference between this one and the previous years. And this has BGW9. So um, I think they all look pretty good. And if you guys are not interested in a 36 millimeter case, they do the same setups in a 38 millimeter case, which I reviewed. I'll be leaving the link right up here for that one. So it's pretty nice that we have 36 and 38 millimeter options. They are pretty much identical except for the size. Um, everything I've seen looks the same. The finishing looks the same. The dials look the same. The crystal looks the same. So um, yeah, I think you're going to be happy with either one. So just, just pick the one that you think will fit you better. And uh, yeah, you'll be happy with it. So the watch case, bracelet, and clasp is made from 316L stainless steel. It has a sapphire crystal, screw down crown, screw down case back, 100 meters of claimed water resistance and it is powered by the Seiko NH35 automatic movement and as an added bonus anything purchased from the official store from now on um, I'm pretty sure everything from now on should be shipping in this new packaging so uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview it's much smaller than the big canisters that they had before um, it's pretty nice uh, nice soft cushion here green suede felty inside uh, I think it looks good. I think it's a lot better than their previous stuff. Uh, pretty usable as well. And yeah, decent quality in my opinion. So uh, yeah, that's a nice added bonus. So I really do like the upgrades that they've made. The, you know, the printed dials, they always look pretty good. Uh, but this is kind of what I imagine, um, you know, if Tudor was going to make a modern day Ranger, uh, this is kind of what it would look like. Um, so I, I like the fact that San Martin is kind of branching out away from the uh, you know, straight copy homages, and they're putting a, their own little twist on it. And I think it turned out really good, uh, but it can't all be perfect, right? Well, let's find out. Uh, before you do get into the full review, do a quick wrist check today wearing the Seastern Ocean Star. Absolutely love this one. Link will be up in the corner there. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for this style of watch, uh, this, in my opinion, is the one to get. All right, let's get to the dimensions. We have a case diameter just under 36 millimeters. Thickness of 11.9 millimeters. It's hard to measure it, but we have 19 millimeter lug width. Lug tip to lug tip of 44.2 millimeters. And sized up for my seven and a half inch wrist with two links removed. It weighs about 121 grams. So I think the size on this thing is great. Um, you know, 36 millimeters, 36 and a half at the bezel. It's just slightly smaller at the case. As you can see, it kind of overhangs there just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think the size on this thing is really nice. If you like these 36 millimeter watches, this thing's going to wear great on you. I have no, no issues with it. Uh, I think it looks really good. Uh, and again, if this is a little small for you, 38 millimeters is available. So um, yeah, I think those things also, they look great. I love the way that thing wore on me. Um, and you can see here, you've got pretty nice turn down to the lugs as well. It's, it's somewhat of a flat case, but uh, it does hug the wrist really nicely. So I'm going to go outside right now and throw it on mine for you. And here we are on my seven and a half inch wrist. And as you can see, it wears good. Uh, maybe a little bit small. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've kind of been leaning to the like 38 millimeters. So this one's a little on the small side, but I don't think it looks ridiculously small or anything. It's very comfortable. It sits nicely on the wrist. Decent curve down to the lugs as well. Nice bracelet. Very comfortable. 
I've got no problems with it. I like the little, you know, flashes of polished surfaces there on the uh, the corners. I think that just kind of dresses it up just a little bit, just enough. And then you got the play off of the dial with the applied indices. I think it all looks really, really good. And I'm very happy with the way it wears. And popping out in some direct sunlight here. You can see, I mean, it is still very legible, you know, even direct sunlight, no issues really. Plenty of AR coating. It's a nice matte black dial there. And, I mean, it doesn't have any texture on it. It kind of looks like it does a little bit, but it, no texture really. Um, yeah, just a, just a matte black. I think it looks really good. I think everything applied, uh, I think it just looks nice. And the ducks agree. Um, so, yeah, before I get uh, yelled at by any other animals out here, I'm going to go throw this on some straps. Here we are on my camel suede strap this one is listed down below these are going to be 20 millimeter straps uh, just squeezed into the 19 millimeters so just uh, keep that in mind if they do look funny um, and you, you can do it with certain straps certain um some straps don't allow it but this one does so figured i would throw it on there and i think it looks really good it's a fan favorite it's my favorite i like it a lot and here we are on another 20 millimeter strap. This is a two, st two stitch strap, link down below. And uh, again, I was able to squeeze that in there and I think that also looks pretty darn good. What do you guys think about that one? And here we are on a olive drab purline strap. These are linked down below. One layer underneath the watch there and it still wears really nice. It's very comfortable. Uh, super lightweight combination. I think it looks really good. I'm a big fan of that one. What do you guys think about that? So here we are on my only proper 19 millimeter strap. And this is a two layer nylon. So you got two layers underneath the watch there and it's still, uh, it sits really nice. I got no problems with that. It's very comfortable. This is the lead gray color. So it's kind of like a bluish gray and I think it looks really good. What do you guys think about that one? All right, let's go back inside and let's get back to this review. All right, so let's talk about the case finishing on this. And the case finishing, just like any other San Martin I've had recently, uh, the case finishing is excellent. Very, very happy with it. You have a circular brushing around the bezel there, and then it kind of gets broken up a little bit by that polished chamfer. And, I mean, just the transitions there are super nice and crisp. I love it. I think it looks excellent. It looks really, really good. And then on the tops of the lugs here, you have a vertical brushing. The original watch that this is based off of, uh, it uses like an angular brushing, and it just kind of looks funny when it meets the bracelet. So this is nice and consistent all the way through. Uh, very nice brushing. Flipping it to the sides here, you've got horizontal brushing across the case there. Again, really nicely done. The, the luster and the sheen that uh, San Martin gets on these, uh, these brush surfaces, uh, it's excellent. I mean, really, really nice. Very happy with it. You can see you have a signed crown there with the San Martin Hex logo. You have really nice sharp transitions on these polished chamfers. I mean, they are just, just razor sharp and they, they look excellent. I mean, you know, getting up super close here, you can see the transitions there are just really nicely done. Very happy with the, ca the case finishing on this thing. Uh, as always, I, I didn't really expect anything else. Flipping it over to the case back here, just a sterile case back. You got your coin edge style case back, which I do not like. I wish they would just use simple notches to get, you know, the tool in there. This one, you got to either have a special tool or use like a ball of duct tape or one of those squishy balls. Um, I've, I've kind of learned how to deal with them, but I still would prefer just regular, uh, regular notches. Uh, unsigned, which is fine. I, I'm not too fussed on a signed case back. I'd like it, but I'm not going to knock it too hard. Um, the bottom of the lugs there are circular brushed. Everything here, it's it's a little bit sharp. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit sharp. It doesn't really translate to, you know, uncomfort on the wrist. Um, it hasn't been an issue with me. Uh, so, yeah, just something to note. If you, uh, if you wear your watches pretty tight, it might bother you. But for me, uh, it really didn't bother me. All right, let's talk about the crystal on this thing. So, first off, we will test it for a sapphire. And it is positive for a sapphire. And again, it's a really nice sapphire crystal. It is a top hat style crystal, so it's clear in the middle, all even at extreme angles, but lots and lots of distortion at the edges. I think it looks great. It sits up above the bezel there. It looks really nice. has a cool vintage, you know, look to it. And I mean, I love it. I've got no problems with it. It's got some blue anti-reflective coating. So uh, whether you like that or not, um, you know, that that's up, that's up to you, but it is there. Um, it's not 
you know, not too bad in my opinion, but it does keep the dial nice and legible. Uh, yeah, I really like the crystal on this thing. I've got no problems with it. All right, so let's talk about the dial on this thing. And the dial, like I said, is all new for 2023. Uh, it is a matte black dial. There's no real texture to it. It kind of looks maybe a little bit like it has some texture, but it's just a plain flat dial. No sunburst, no gloss. It's super legible. Um, it looks really good. You have applied indices at all the hour markers. The 12, 3, 6, and 9 are applied as well. And I mean, everything looks really good. You have your applied San Martin Hex logo, love it or hate it, it is there. Uh, you can get these in sterile and then you can also get these in custom dials. So um, I think it's like 35 bucks for a custom dial, something like that. Um, it's been a while since I've looked, so, um, but it is an option to get a custom dial. So if you don't like the Hex logo, uh, you can get it without it. Or if you don't like the San Martin logo at all, you can do a custom logo. So really nice to have those options. The handset used on this, really nice, pretty simple, uh, just a flat handset, a little tiny bit of, uh, of faceting, but really a very minimal amount of faceting, uh, but nicely done. Good size, reaches right out to the minute track there. You get your red tip on the second hand there. I think it looks really, really nice. I've got no problems with the dial on this thing. I think the proportions are good. Some people mentioned the, the one in the 12 there. Looks a little funny. Uh, I'm going to let you guys decide. I took some macro pictures that I'll probably post up right here. Uh, and you can see they are, they are the same exact size. Uh, I mean, it's if they're not the same size, it's so close that you shouldn't be able to tell a difference. But I kind of do agree that it looks a little funny when you stare at it. Um, but it's not anything that really bothers me. Uh, again, I, I think it looks really good. And I think the, you know, the, the finishing on the dial and the finishing on the hands and the indices looks excellent looks really really good um so yeah i've got no major complaints with it um yeah i think they did a really good job on this one and as you can see the loom color match it's pretty much spot on they're using bgw9 so uh yeah i mean during the daytime it matches really nicely as for the nighttime loom shot i'm going to pop up the loom shot right here and as you can see it against the willard on the left and the chronos on the right uh, it holds its own it is excellent loom uh, I had no doubts that it would be good loom. Um, yeah, they got they got a, a lot of BGW9 in there, lots of layers, nice even application. I'm happy with the loom, and I think you guys will be too. All right, so let's talk about the movement in this thing. So the movement is the Seiko NH35. I'm going to pop up my time grapher shot right here. And here's how you can see this one's running. It's running great, seven seconds a day. And uh, really strong beater as well, so very happy with the movement as far as the accuracy and uh, I guess the, the strength of the movement seems to be a really strong running movement. So it is the Seiko NH35. Uh, it's 21,600 beats per hour, so six ticks of the second hand every second. It hacks, it hand winds, it does everything you need it to do. It has unit or bidirectional winding, so you don't get that rotor whirl that you get in some, with some movements. It's quiet, it's reliable, it's accurate. It's been great, I've got no problems with it. The movement is operated by this three o'clock screw down crown. The crown is a little small. I think it's proportional for the case. It's just a small case and I got big fingers. So um, it, it's never really been an issue getting a grip on it. It just feels a little small when I'm trying to manipulate it. Uh, but it's a nice crown and again, it's nicely signed. And uh, screw in, screw out action has been fine. Um, first position here, hand winds it. Really solid feeling. No issues with that. The crown itself feels nice and solid as well. Um, yeah, I've got no problems with it. There is a ghost date position, so you pull it out to the first position. And I can feel it moving back there. And I can hear it. So they haven't removed any of the uh, the mechanisms to for that date window back there. But um, again, it, it's not really a big deal to me. Um, pull it out to the third position, and that hacks the movement. And this is where you set your time. Nice solid feeling to the crown. It feels exactly like an NH35 does. Uh, you're going to be happy with the movement. Um, I've got no issues with them. They're excellent movements for this price gra uh, bracket. Uh, I'd like to maybe see the PT5000 in here, but really the NH35, it's so reliable um, that I don't really have an issue with it. So overall, the, the movement is running good. Uh, it's a nice movement. They're, they're so cheap and reliable, easy to replace. Um, yeah, they're great. I've got no problems with them. Yeah, so let's talk about the bracelet in this thing. And the bracelet is kind of the, the the standard bracelet for San Martins, and that's a good thing. You know, they use this on pretty much everything, and that's because it's a good bracelet. Uh, it's a three-link 
made of solid links. You have solid end links, female pivoting end links as well. You have brushing on the tops and everything is brushed really, really nicely. I love the brushing that they use on their bracelets. It's done really nice. They have polishing on the sides here, nicely rounded little links there. So it's pretty comfortable on the wrist. Everything is nice and fluid. Uh, this bottom edge here, it seems like they're starting to improve this. It's a little bit softer than I'm, I'm used to with the uh, San Martin. So uh, it's been very comfortable for me. I have no problems with it, even like the end of this first link here, which you can see um, it, it's finished nicely. So I think the finishing is good. I think the fit in the lugs there, I mean, that is about as good as you can get, right? Uh, it's nice and solid feeling and they're, they're not slopping around inside there. Um, they look great. They follow the case curvature just spot on. Just look at that. So very happy in that regard. Uh, very happy with the fluidity. Very happy with the comfort. Uh, screw pins for sizing. I was able to remove two of them for my 7.5 inch wrist. And you've got, looks like, four more that you can take out. So um, should be plenty of adjustment for you guys. Uh, it's your typical San Martin clasp. So again, really nice applied logo there. Uh, brushing on the tops, brushing on the sides, and then nice polished chamfers here. So it all kind of matches the case. I think it looks really good. Uh, nice rounded on the bottom here. You know, I've had this clasp in many other San Martin watches, and this one functions just the same. Um, really happy with it. Milled inners. All these tolerances here are nice and tight. There's no, you know, extra slop or anything like that. So everything functions perfect. Um, I've had no problems with this thing coming undone. No problems with it snapping closed. Uh, four levels of micro adjust there and everything is good peachy with it I, I like the clasp i like the bracelet it's you know getting a little boring talking about this three link bracelet but it's a good one um so yeah very happy with the bracelet on this thing so there you go guys that is the san martin sn0107 um yeah it's great it comes in two different sizes three different dial layouts it's got a reliable movement nice sapphire crystal beautiful case finishing really comfortable bracelet uh, really there's not a whole lot to complain about um, these things are great they're they're really really good uh, it's kind of one of those you know go anywhere do anything watches gotta watches and uh it, it it's great um yeah if you pick one of these up you, i think you're really gonna like it um, so yeah, on that note, if you are interested in this now, uh, leaving a link down below, that will take you to the official store for the 36. I'll also leave a link for the 38 millimeter and also a link for the 38 millimeter review that I did, uh, just so you can see that on my wrist. Um, but yeah, I think these things are great. Um, and I like the updates that they did in 2023. Very happy with them. I, I like these applied dials. I think they kind of class up the watch just a little bit. So yeah, I, th I think they're great, and I think you're going to be pretty happy with it. Um, I think that's all for me. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.